For something like six months now, I've been experiencing a rather infuriating mouse bug. It started in CSGO, and then I started experiencing variations of the glitch in every Source game. It then started spreading to other games like GTA V, Borderlands the pre-sequel, Dishonored, and even Cities Skylines, even though it's not first person. In CSGO, the premise of the glitch is very inconsistent mouse sensitivity, inputs being stretched out, and the cursor not being confined to the edges of the game like it should be. You see, I can kind of move it now, see, it has different levels of brokenness, but watch this, if I flick to the right and then click, boop, no longer in it. My crosshair is not confined to the edges of the, of the monitor, it just it goes on to my other ones resulting in some pretty infuriating moments where I'm like, oh, there's somebody, there's somebody there. Oh, nope, can't, can't flick that way, because uh, that's how Counter-Strike works, right? You're not allowed to flick. In Half-Life 2 and Counter-Strike Source, I don't experience the inconsistent sensitivity, but the cursor is not confined to the screen. In TF2, the cursor never goes off the screen, but it feels as if I'm using a cursor to control a console controller analog stick, which is very weird. In GTA, the sensitivity is just so low that it's nearly impossible to play, even if I max out my mouse's sensitivity. In Dishonored and Borderlands the pre-sequel, there is considerable input lag, inconsistent sensitivity, and input stretching, which makes the gaming experience nothing but frustrating. In Cities Skylines, the cursor is extremely laggy and hard to control unless I'm playing on 1x game speed, in which case it's mostly usable but the cursor is still sometimes laggy. The only fix I've been able to find is for CSGO, and all it is is simply playing the game until the mouse movement returns to normal. Sometimes it can take up to 20 minutes, sometimes it will fix immediately, but most of the time it just takes 30 seconds to 2 minutes. Check out this dank meme. See, I can barely move my freaking mouse anyways. It almost almost does nothing, um, making almost zero progress. Oh, and it started working immediately. See, uh, that's, uh, that's part of the randomness there. Sometimes it'll just work. My new rule is to always hop into a deathmatch and get my mouse working before attempting to play competitive or any other game mode. That said, CSGO is the only game where the issue will just go away after playing for an amount of time. Every other game that I've mentioned just experiences the issue consistently. Watch this, if I flick... Oh wait! Ooh! It's working! Hey, hey, it's working! Alright. If you've experienced this issue, I would obviously really like to know a fix. If you haven't experienced this issue, then your advice will probably be useless because I've been dealing with this and trying things to fix this for many, many months now. Here's everything I know about it so far in my attempts to locate the cause of this glitch. It has nothing to do with if you're using full screen, borderless window, or windowed mode. It has nothing to do with the mouse itself, because all the mouse does is provide movement information to the computer. My mouse works flawlessly in windows, just not games. I have tried to use other mice though, to no avail. I've tried unplugging my other monitors to eliminate the accidental alt tabbing, but a well-timed, or should I say horribly timed, flick and click still manages to alt tab me away from the game. Only using one monitor also does not affect the tracking. Having Shadowplay enabled or disabled does not affect anything. Various combinations of PC restarts and unpluggings of my mouse do not change anything. I'm convinced that it's an issue in the operating system level, and that what I really need to do is just reinstall Windows. I really don't want to do that though, because reinstalling all my programs and reorganizing all of my files and making sure I don't lose any in the process is a lot of work. I would much rather do a fix, however complex, that doesn't entail the reinstalling of Windows. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope someone knows something about this problem. Side note, this is the first scripted video I've ever done. Did I do good?